there's a lot of things in this investigation that we have come to understand through statements and through physical evidence that we feel that there's more than sufficient um, enough cause to be able to arrest you, and we could arrest you right now. Really? Okay. okay. All right. Uh, that's not a pretend statement. That's not a phony statement. The thing is, is that, is that the district attorney has asked us to go ahead and, and and wait until all the results of the blood that was recovered in West Shermantine's car to be totally analyzed, and we're abiding by that at this point in time because it was recommended. Okay. Cindy's been missing for, Cindy Bannerat has been missing for quite, for quite some time. And you've spoken with Detective Shuffle, you've spoken with a few other people, and have provided several different statements. Some of which we know to be true, and some of it we know not to be true. She now went back to go back to her car. She said that several times, you know. West wasn't going that way. I'm still on the back seat and say, Something with him to the rope going. This isn't good. Well, he started telling her to do stuff, you know, and, and it's kind of a back and forth argument kind of thing. And I mean, do stuff as in uh, sexual acts, I guess that's what you call it. And he's just getting wilder and wilder and wound up more and more. And I told him at one point, said, Wes, don't kill her, man. Take her back to her car. When I got out of the car, I started backing up. And I, he kind of looked at me one time, and I was gone. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. It's hard to explain. I don't, don't, I don't want to remember it, you know what I mean? But he was, you know, <clears throat> like on top of me, like kind of holding her down, you know? And I guess it must have been towards the end, I can remember he just, just let it come natural. <laughs> I mean, I was drunk and wrapped her up and put her in the trunk. I almost don't even know where I was. I mean, I know I was there, but my mind was just gone. I was just sitting there and comatose, felt like. I wanted to wait for bad. And I couldn't believe what I just been seeing. And, you know, yeah, it is too much. The scenario that you just told us, is that the truth? Is that? Yeah. Is that what actually happened? Yeah. That's what happened. I know you've told some West, different stories West in the past. West 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 West. And you saw him kill her, is that correct? Killing her, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't just, I, I was watching, I wasn't watching, and I watched again, and I was like... When you first met Cindy, did you plan on kill, killing her, or oh, having her killed, know. or playing any part in her being killed? No way. You did not? Okay. No way. That's part of the truth. Okay? You had no knowledge of what was going to happen, or did you? No. Okay. And even if you did, and if it's too late or too far into it, if you did not actively participate, as you described earlier, 
then it's still the truth and the same story. If something happened and it's out of your control, then it's out of your control. But you need to explain that. Should he say anything to you? Yeah, a couple times. And what was that? Uh, she used to call me Slim. She said, Slim, do something. And I said, hey. I think I told her. Don't, uh, don't test him. I told her. So, uh, what? Don't test him. Don't test him? Yeah. Have you ever tried to fight him yourself? Yeah, he was in kindergarten. And but how about now? Do you think you could take him? No. That's my problem, I guess, because I don't think I can take him. Okay. She tried to bargain with him, more or less. Kind of a, you know, please let me go, and then, you know, I don't know if it was trying to talk, but maybe she just had calmed down and tried to talk to him. I don't know if she was trying to calm him down or not. What was his reaction? Was I guess it wasn't a trying to calm him down. It was, and then she was, and then she started screaming again. She was talking calm though for a minute. Then she started screaming again. When he said, "So what's the story?" What did you tell him? I didn't, I don't think I gave him a reply. I don't remember giving him a reply. When he asked you, or he told you, I'm not going going to prison, did he just say that, or did you ask him, well, why, why'd you kill her? I guess he knew. I didn't ask him that. I, he said it. He just said it. I'm not going to prison. A little bit of a toll on me. My reply, I think, was, to his, that you don't want to see me for a while, was, I wish I could turn the clock back. I said, I wish I could turn the clock back or turn the time back.